Many Christians continue to promote a so-called single resurrection view of the future, which is at the center of the amillennial view. This means that at the parousia, the return of Christ, all of the dead, Christians and non-Christians, would be raised and judged at the same time. But the scriptures from the Old to the New Testament clearly teach two future resurrections. First, of all the people of God from every age and followed by the rest of the dead. Daniel 12 verse 2 says that many of those who are sleeping will wake up, that is, be raised from the dead, which means all the dead are not raised at the one time. In Luke 14, 14, Jesus says you will be rewarded at the resurrection of the righteous, meaning the saints, Christians only, not all of the dead. In John 5, 29, Jesus distinguishes between the two resurrections by calling the first a resurrection of life and the second a resurrection of judgment. On this verse, the Theological Dictionary of the New Testament notes that the predominant view is that of a double resurrection, John 5, verses 28 and 29, resurrection of life, resurrection of judgment, and that Jewish tradition is followed and the resurrection to life is seen as a prior act in time at the beginning of the millennium. The New Testament also uses the phrase from the dead, literally out from among the dead, to make it clear that there are two future resurrections. The first resurrection from among the dead leaves some who are still dead. In Luke 20, 35, Jesus says those who are considered worthy to attain to that future age and the resurrection from the dead. Luke uses the same language in Acts 4 verse 2, proclaiming the resurrection from the dead through Jesus, where the early church preached in Jesus the resurrection from the dead. Paul uses similar language in 1 Corinthians 6.14 when he compares the resurrection of Christ with that of Christians. Now God has not only raised the Lord, but will also raise us up, literally outraise or preeminently raise Christians. Later in the same letter to Corinth, we see Paul's chronological order, 1 Corinthians 15 verse 23, But each in his own order, Christ the first fruits, then at his coming those who belong to Christ. Christ the first fruits, followed by Christians, the rest of the first fruit harvest. And like Jesus, Christians are also called first fruits in James 1.18 and Revelation 14 verse 4. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, Christ brings those who have died in the faith of Jesus, as some versions render verse 14, the dead in Christ will rise first, verse 16, which comports with 1 Corinthians 15, verse 20, first fruits, and followed by the rest of the Christians who are alive, verse 17. Lastly, in Philippians 3, verse 11, Paul makes it his goal to attain to the literally out-resurrection, which is from a compound Greek word meaning out and resurrection. George Peters In his multi-volume work, The Theocratic Kingdom, writes that if we take the, the emendation demanded by the preposition ek out of, we have a reading which vindicates Paul's effort to obtain a prize vis a distinguishing eclectic, that is, general, universal resurrection. For many read it, if by any means I might attain unto the resurrection from among or out of the dead or dead ones. The force of this rendering is sustained by the resurrection of Jesus, which was, for example, 1 Peter 1.3, one won from among the dead, and by the usage of the preposition, the affirmation, Greek ek, out of. Also note that one would not strive to attain to the second resurrection when everyone is raised, whether they like it or not. As a consequence of all this, John talks about the rest of the dead, meaning those who will not be part of that first fruits, first resurrection harvest, in Revelation 20, verse 4, and those who had not worshipped the beast or his image, and had not received the mark on their foreheads and on their hands, and they came to life and reigned with Christ for a thousand years, 
the rest of the dead did not come to life until the thousand years were completed. This is the first resurrection. This vision would make absolutely no sense if there is a single resurrection of all the dead at the one time, that is, at the parousia coming of Christ. The bottom line is that neither Paul nor any other New Testament writer ever says that at the point of Christ's return, all of the dead will be raised and judged at once. The New Testament language explicitly describes two resurrections, the first made clear by the phrase from the dead or from among the dead spoken of Jesus and of Christians only in the New Testament. This is followed by the rest of the dead of Revelation 20 verse 5. And on this phrase, from the dead, Peters adds that Greek writers, lexicons, critics, and the Greek Testament everywhere and continually assign to it the office of expressing out of, from, from among, and invariably use it before a genitive signifying a whole from which a part is taken. For example, Acts 3.23, 1 Corinthians 5.13, Acts 19.33, Hebrews 5.1, etc. In other words, if you have eaten all of the pie, there is no rest of the pie. 